my name is Irene from Shiveridu and we are learning how to make Pak the Penguin. Did you finish the first lesson? Then we can continue today with lesson two. We will be making uh, more single crochets. We learn how to decrease, how to stuff the penguin, how to uh, fasten off a finish, and uh, how to play safety eyes. Let's get started. So let's continue with the the body and the eyes. Pick up the um, eyes you crocheted and the safety eye. I'm using uh, Fill the Art Cotton 3, uh, which I use a 2.5 millimeter hook for. And um, for this thickness of yarn, I use a 6 millimeter safety eye. And you can just put it in the center of the first magic loop, like that. And also for the second eye, put it in the center of the magic loop. There you go. And on the body we marked in row 6 with two um, stitches in the back loops where the eyes will be. So in row 6, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So somewhere along here. Yes, there's the first. Let me show you how it looks. It's just a horizontal stitch. That's the place where we are going to place the safety eye. And there should be another one. Yes, there it is. That's the second place. So now you can pick up an eye with the safety eye. And put it in there. Just underneath the stitch. That's one. And the other one should go... Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It should go there. Yes, perfect. The eyes will be turned a little bit with the flat surface facing towards the belly. So here the belly of the penguin will be. So uh, like this, is, it's perfect. Uh, these tails you can just leave hanging. We will uh, deal with them later. Now turn the body, the body inside out and pick up a washer and now just place it on the eye. Just like that. And another one. There you go. In the last lesson we are going to stitch this down. So now we can continue by finishing the body. What we will do is we actually reverse what we did with the increases. So now we have 36 stitches in this round and we are going to make uh, increases so we'll have a round with 30 stitches in it. I'll show you how, how. We make first four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And now we make an increase. With an increase we crochet the next two single crochets together and we will do that by going only through the front loop of the first single crochet then we go to the front loop of the second single crochet yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through I will show it again We will crochet this stitch and this stitch together. So we go through the first front loop and then from the second stitch we also go through the front loop. Yarn over, pull through. So you pull through both uh, front loops 
of the two stitches, yarn over again and pull through both loops. Now you've decreased two single crochets to one single crochet. Now we continue with four single crochets. So we go into this one. This is the next single crochet. One, two, three, and four. And then we make a decrease again. So we go through the front loop. We go through the next front loop. Yarn over. Pull through the both through both front loops. Yarn over and pull through. Okay. And this we repeat until we get to the tail again. So one two three four first loop second front loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one two three four first front loop second front loop pull through both loops yarn over and pull through one two three four first front loop second front loop pull through and pull through one, two, three, four, and the final decrease finishes the round. And now we have 30 single crochets in our round. And we continue with row number 14. In row 14 we will do a single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, decrease. So three single crochets and one decrease. One, two, three, and a decrease. That is row 14. In row 15 we will make a single crochet, a single crochet and a decrease. So two single crochets and one decrease. One, two and a decrease. There you go and repeat this all the way around. And the final decrease. So now we have 18 single crochets in our round. I think we can make one more row before we start filling. So pick up your yarn again. Now we make one single crochet and one in, uh, decrease. So go in there, one single crochet and one decrease. One single crochet And one decrease. One single crochet. And 
and one decrease. One single crochet, one decrease. One single crochet and one decrease. That makes 12, I think. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, I missed one. I didn't use a tail to count, so <laughs> mess up. One single crochet. And one decrease. That's it. Okay. Now we can start filling. To fill up this bowl, we need just a tiny bit of stuffing. Uh, make sure your working yarn is nice and long so you don't lose stitches. You can even try to hold it so you don't push it in. I like to use a pencil or the back of my crochet hook to put some stuffing in there. stuffing your ping wing until it's nice and firm or very soft just how you like it but at least it has to hold its shape so when you squeeze it it should be go it should go back to a round shape Just go in there and feel if I'm not pushing the eyes all the way up because then they look a little bit odd. You want you want them just pointing uh, to the to the inside of the to the center of the bowl actually. So make sure a little bit of stuffing goes on all sides. I can use a bit more, I think. that's great okay now push it in as far as you can so it doesn't get caught up in your last stitches now we only have to do six decreases and then we are finished so pick up your working yarn and make six decreases go in the first front loop go in the second front loop Pick up the yarn and pull through. First front loop, second, whoops, first front loop, second front loop, pick up the yarn and pull through. That makes two. Three. Four, five, and the last one. Number six, that's it. We're going to finish this off so you can cut a little bit of a tail. There you go. And you can just pull it through because we are going to finish it off so you don't have to make a knot or anything. There you go. Now we have a tiny opening of our last six stitches and we want to close it. 
So take a needle. You can take one with a blunt end and the eye big enough to get your yarn through. So you thread your needle and then you're going to pick up all the stitches of the last round. Doesn't really matter if you pick both loops or just one loop. Just go through all of them. And then you can pull the yarn. This, this closes the hole you got. So now we go in the center or in the next stitch or and just go to somewhere on the side and pull up your yarn there, your needle there. And give it a pull so you tuck that bump in a little bit. And now to fasten off, you just go from one side to the other side randomly through the ball, not pulling too hard. And this is just to tangle your yarn inside uh, the stuffing. At least this is the way how I used to do it and um, you don't have to make any knots or anything. Just give it a gentle pull. Clip it off. There you are. So that's it for today. We attached the eyes with the safety eyes. And then we finished the ball by making decreases. And we fastened off the end. And we stuffed it of course. So, I hope to see you next time. <laughs>